This is the fifth video in my series on object-oriented programming in Python. And in this video, we're going to take a look at inheritance, encapsulation, and documentation. So to start off, we're going to be continuing with our example of the user class. And I went ahead and made two new files that are empty at the moment. So let's take a look at the super user, and we're going to use this to exemplify inheritance. Now, inheritance is probably one of the most powerful aspects of object-oriented programming. And what you do is you move from a generalized parent class into a specialized child class. Sometimes this relationship is referred to as superclass to subclass, but inheritance in general works just like it does in people. So by default, you get some aspects of yourself from your parents. This is exactly how it works in Python too. So we're going to start by importing our superclass. Okay, so the import works exactly like it has in any other Python application that you've worked on. The user file has to be visible to the superclass file. So generally that means they're in the same folder. Then we make our class, and I'm going to call this one super user. And in the parentheses here, we specify the class that it inherits from. Now, you can inherit from multiple classes, right? But in our example, we're just going to go from this generalized user to a more specific super user, all right? So you can imagine that, oh, maybe a super user can do things that a regular user can't do. So we're going to start by defining our init, and we're going to pass in the parameters we need. Okay, so these are all the parameters that are coming from the superclass. And then uh, we're just going to add one additional parameter, and it's going to be the role of the super user. So this apparently is going to give it all its special powers. Okay, so we'll just define that role first. And the rest of it we're going to get from the superclass. And once again, we have to pass in those parameters. So generally what we're saying here is that we're going to have this new super user and it's going to be an improved version of the original user and it's going to have the additional property or attribute role. Okay, and this actually is enough to demonstrate the idea of inheritance. So I'm going to go ahead and save this file and I'm going to move into our new blank file and I'm going to use this to exemplify the idea of encapsulation. Okay, so if we think of the general user class, we can see there's a lot of code here. And moving into the super user, it's, it's not as much code. But the idea of encapsulation says you don't really need to know or see that code to be able to use these classes. So it may be better for your code readability and organization if you hide all that code. So that's what encapsulation is. Now in Python, it's not truly hidden. In other programming language, it can be hidden. You can actually encrypt the data somewhat and prevent people or lock the file and put a password on it and prevent people from actually seeing the code. And the idea is that, well, you don't really need to know uh, what the code is doing. You just need to know how to use it. And that is sort of the front-facing API or interface that you create for your classes. And it should allow people to interact with your code without being able to see how you wrote it. Okay, so what we did here is we imported the super user. We're going to create a super user, all right, with that additional parameter. And then uh, let's see what happens when we print off our two string representations. So you can see that I didn't add either string or wrapper to the super class, but I am inheriting them from the parent class. All right. And then just kind of note here that the way we set up wrapper is giving us the flexibility to actually add the new parameters and it changes the class name. Now the string representation is exactly the same as the one that we inherited from the generalized user class. So we're going to go ahead in and override that somewhat so we can add in uh, the role. Okay, 
Okay, and then we're just going to uh, append the additional string component that we want in our super user string representation. Okay, let's try that one more time. And uh, let me just add a little separation here so we can see it a little more clearly. And there is our new string representation, okay, with the role added. All right, and there was no change necessary to the repr method. Okay, we also inherit any other method that's in the user class. So I can, you know, super user dot get age. Okay, or I could encrypt the password or I can check the password. All right, and so this is the beauty of inheritance. All we need to do is change the things that are, make the super user special and everything else we can pretty much leave alone. So earlier I mentioned the idea of encapsulation and hiding the code and people not really needing to be able to see it. And this is going to depend on the level of documentation. And I've pretty much added no documentation to these classes and that's for a specific reason but obviously if you're building a an application then you probably do want to add your own documentation but let's see what happens if i just call help on super user i will spread things out a little bit so it's easier to read but we can see that by default python actually gives us pretty good boilerplate documentation okay so it tells us how to construct a super user it tells us what methods are available okay it even shows the methods that are being inherited from user okay but we probably want to within each one of these methods add our own documentation so we can explain exactly what's going on all right but the beauty of python is its code readability and if you've written your code so it's readable then that should also minimize the amount of documentation that you have to add okay so hopefully that gets you started with object-oriented programming in python